So I'm all out of jokes. Um, I'm, I am very, very happy to introduce the two most special people tonight, uh, Alex and Sophie, two of my best friends and um, two of the most beautiful people in the world. Thank you guys. Let me just start, me just start by saying that if you, uh, if you don't want the diapers all around the room, you shouldn't leave the diapers in the closet, right? Like this. <laughs> and I was four, okay? I wanted to play with the guys, and they were throwing chestnuts. I was four! We decided to turn our, uh, whatever, toast speech into a just a uh, list of people that we wanted to thank. Yes. We're going to start... Uh, I didn't do that. Start, start with me uh, thanking my beautiful wife here, Sophie. <laughs> Everyone agrees. Everyone agrees. We need to thank Sophie. I want to thank her especially here for putting together all the beautiful centerpieces that we have, for putting together this entire room here because I was busy piping in Gimli all day here. <laughs> and I was busy all day here, so I couldn't tell any of it. So uh, she was responsible for all of it while I was busy all day here. So thank you, Sophie. <laughs> I want to also thank uh, Mr. Uh, Stevenson Strobel here, one of my best friends here, for uh, handling MC duties here. <laughs> now here I have like an insult all set up here, because I kind of planned that he was going to roast me a little bit here. <laughs> Turned out he was actually like really nice to me, so this is like kind of out of place. But I, wanna, I don't want to really want to change plans here, so <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's like pretend that he was like really mean to me here and <laughs> say that like all of his insults here were because of jealousy because we broke his, we, uh, broke his personal rule here. His personal rule was that everyone needs to wait 25 years in any relationship for an engagement. <laughs> so thank you for, for being so nice, Stephen <laughs> Uh, we want to thank everybody <laughs> who came from out of town. Um, thank you for braving the airports with all the delays and all of the rumors of, uh, you know, not getting your bags or not getting your flights. Um, a thank you to my family for all coming. Um, most of you have never been to Winnipeg, and I hope you had a wonderful time. <laughs> thank you to my friends, my girls. We were just talking about this today, and like we are verging on 25 to 35 years of friendship among the six of us, and that's incredible. And there's no one else I'd imagine going life through, like going through life with. Sorry, I'm gonna tear up. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you to Stevenson and Rachel for making it, and thank you Stevenson for hosting and. Uh, being our MC, even though Alex is a, a jerk. <laughs> we love you! <laughs> um, thank you to Cran for coming from Newfoundland. I think he wins the record, guys. He came from Newfoundland. <laughs> and, Actually, oh, no. incorrect, incorrect. <laughs> and thank you to Halid for making it. His flight was canceled yesterday and he flew from Kitchener at five in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, like, Helen has way more dedication to the sweating than I do. <laughs> this man, this man drove to Kitchener at like two in the morning to get on a get on a flight here to come here. Thank you, Helen. Um, I also want to thank uh, Miskovich is here from driving all the way from Stonewall here. Like, do you guys know the price of gas? Stonewall here. <laughs> I guess like Kieran uh, also like drove in from uh, from out of town as well again. Can you imagine two two dollars a liter and you're still driving in? I mean, good, good for those guys. <laughs> I'd also like to thank uh, Jamie here for setting up the, the whole system here, all the speakers. That's Red Red Rover Entertainment. Whenever you need uh, some uh, speakers and lights and everything, talk to this guy over here. I <laughs> am. I also want to thank uh, my friend Wade. Yeah. I thank my friend Wade here. So I met Wade back when I was in grad school here. And I was, I was, a, I was a young guy. But like back when Wade 
was back in elementary school. <laughs> back when Wade was in elementary school, this guy went to school with Louis Pasteur. And he is responsible. He is responsible for actually making all these beers drinkable. So let's thank Wade. Thank you, Wade. <laughs> and we would love to thank everybody from Devil May Care in Oxesbury for brewing the beers. Thank you so much, guys. Um, everything from the design, Colin, Steve, Sean, Kevin, for all their help brewing our wedding favors and serving their beer all night. Um, two great spots to enjoy their pints. So if you ever need a pint in the city, grab some uh, DMC, Devil May Care, or Oxes Brewing Beers. And also, thank you. Also, if you end up trying the beers and don't like it, it was actually Steve that came up with the recipe. And it is 100% uh, his fault. <laughs> also, like to thank uh, Mr. James Clark. Where's James here? Ah, uh, James, thanks for piping us in. Back uh, left table here, look at uh, Mr. Kirby McCray and Mark Jorgensen. <laughs> <laughs> former, former pipe majors of the uh, St. Andrews Pipe Band here, and uh, current people who lied to me and told me I would be able to handle this job and would be like totally be good at uh, being a pipe major here. Complete lies here, but uh, thanks, thanks, thanks for uh, doing a great job and uh, woefully not giving me a good education on what I can do here. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Um, and finally, here, uh, if we're being filmed here, let's, uh, let's add this one here. <laughs> if we can be serious here for a second. I would like to thank my sister, Kirsty, oh. for being such a great older sister. I mean, what, can, what, what else can I say about Kirsty here? She is, uh, she just like taught me how to be a good person. She is a, a constant inspiration on... Wait, she, she, she's not here? She didn't come? <laughs> no, never mind, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to all you guys here. She's, she's not gonna make it here. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming tonight and I hope you enjoyed the night. I'm on tiptoes because this doesn't go any lower. Um, thank you and we love you so much. <laughs> Cheers to all of you. <laughs>just before the bar opens here I just wanted to say like uh, actually sincerely um, if pandemic and COVID has taught us anything here it's, it's taught me that we need to actually appreciate these times that we can actually get together these times that uh, we can actually gather as one here as somebody who has actually planned a reception here and cancelled it <laughs> postponed it twice now it is fantastic <laughs> to actually be able to experience this and see all of you guys together as one here. It's incredible to see people in from all over the all over the country and see people that I haven't seen in in, in years here. This is incredible here. So, thanks uh, to you, thanks to you individually, thanks to everybody all together here. Collectively. Uh, from from the bottom of our hearts here, we couldn't be happier here just to see everybody all together here. And uh, with that said, let's uh, start some dancing here. Let's uh, go to the bar here.